Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome back to the Mata Nui Online game. Um, I just went to go check on my wife, she's doing well. Um, and uh, she's actually going to go to bed for the night, but I was going to finish, stay up and finish recording this. And I was thinking about when the last time I recorded this was, and I remember it. It was the winter of 2008. Um... And for those who know their Bionicle lore, uh, the end of 2008 had a lot of heavy stuff happen. Like, bam, bam, bam. And then all we got for 2009 for a little while was... Um, okay. All we got for 2009 was a, uh, a shot of Matoro... Like standing next to a giant, um, I think a Vaki leg piece. I think of the, I think that's the origin of that piece. Um, and that was all we got for for the the pre like the preview. So there you can see the, um, that's what happens when a Toa connects to a Suva and then puts multiple masks on or puts them at the Suva. They can swap between masks. So he was able to use the mask of shielding and still have the mask of strength. It's happening to me. My body's not my own. So this is Liwa. There's a lot done to his design to make him look a lot more slender and tall than his uh, brothers, um, which makes sense. The Le Koro, the Le Koro Nananans are essentially like elves. Uh, so it would make sense. My body's not my own. My mind, get out of my mind! That's such a creepy but effective design. Oh, it's so cool! Mask of Telekinesis, normally worn by Taraga Nuju. And that's the noble one, naturally, because the, uh... Normal, like a his mask. Get his mask. Uh, the great mask of telekinesis has not been designed yet. Yoink! So without the infected Kanohi, you go right back to normal. There's no like interstitial period. That's the mask of mind control, worn earlier by Toa Onua or um, Taraga Onua, as that's the noble mask. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> and they draw the little the little symbol for Lake Oro. So yeah, again, they show the golden mask acquisition being different here. Where like he, he sinks into the shrine after all six have been collected. And then he just pops out and he's got his golden mask. But yeah, not only is it a running gag that Leeway gets mind controlled... It's also a running gag that Onua is the one to save him. And they, like, have one of the toughest, strongest bromances ever. Traveler, it's good to see you again after all our adventures. Return to Street by Lee Crow was so long hoped for in the dark, wet Rama Hive. I, you're losing me, dude. Take this flute song. It fits in the flute you found. When you need help from Sun Soaring Lee play song and you'll have it. Many thanks for helping us to High Branch home. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was 2009. It, it was winter 2008, transitioning to 2009, and I think for Christmas, I got... Uh, I think I got Krika and Onua Mistaka. Um, unless I managed to get Gresh that year. I forget. But yeah, and I remember playing this as like... Cause for those who don't know, 2008 was the end of an era for Bionicle. I will not tell you why. We'll get there in our own due time. Um, spoilers, you know. 
but as a result I was going on a huge like archive binge of all the Bionicle stuff that I had and I had a lot of the books and I had a lot of the comics um, I had a subscription to Lego magazine in fact and was able to read the comics as a result uh, published by DC they were pretty solid as all things considered uh, and I always I always remember that my dad would like have an interest and I, I never was sure if my dad was faking an interest in Bionicle I never thought that he was like not that he was like faking interest um, I never knew if he was into it himself or if he just like was happy that I had a thing that I was into and wanted to be, you know, an active figure in my life. But I'll never forget like when the Rakshi designs came out, he, uh, he thought that they looked so cool. The Rakshi, the villains from, uh, year, uh, year three from 2003. I have five of them. I have five Rakshi on a shelf over there. Uh, my wife just got it for me for Christmas, in fact. But yeah, um, it is currently still Christmas uh, here. The lights are up. And I remember, like, I went to go check on my wife and I had to be quiet so I wouldn't wake her up when I left. And it triggered a memory of the last time I was playing this game, which was it was, it was cold outside. The Christmas lights were still on. I had to be quiet in the house. And I, I, I had a flashback to, to getting, like... Onua and um, Krika like shortly before uh, and and like I got Gresh shortly afterwards Gresh was the first Glatorne I got and he was kind of the main character but like oh man those were the days dude these were the like days of Resdania I okay I've been trying not to swear because I want my brother to be able to watch so I actually have this framed picture of him like sitting on me. I'm not showing his face just because I haven't asked his mom if that's okay. But I literally have this framed picture of my brother sitting on my desk with him looking at me to remind me not to swear. Because I, I usually just swear for infamous em, emphasis because I'm a, um, you know, I'm a teenager from after the 70s in the United States. I mean, I'm not a teenager anymore, but I was a teenager after the 70s. I don't see people from before that do that, but it could just be that I wasn't alive then and don't know enough. Anyway, I've been sitting at this for too long. Uh, what of Liwa and the Golden Kanohi? By bringing all the mask power to the Suva, it has given Liwa a Golden Kanohi. Uh, legends say after the Golden Kanohi are found, it will come Toa Kaita. For so long, I pronounce this Katia. Even though the I is here and not here. Or I guess like here and not here. Sorry, I don't know where the window is for you guys. Here, here. Um, and it's those and a couple others. Like I pronounced Morbazak, Morbazak. It's those and a few others where like I'm pretty sure that I have dyslexia. And I never realized until years later where someone read like a Bionicle word out loud and I realized that I'd been saying it wrong for like 15 years. Anyway, come to Toakaita. I do not know what this is. Yeah, you never. Oh, never mind. Goodbye, traveler, and farewell. Man, just big old Matoran band. Heck yeah, guys. Stay funky, y'all. All right, the music's pretty juicing, yeah. All right. Just doing a quick check of the wiki there. So they're widening the tunnel entrance. Thank you, guys. All right, sorry, just checking my path forward. I am to return to Takoro because it's been a while since I've been there, I imagine. Ta yep, there we go. All right. Oh, also, this is just a thing that my dad did that was really cool. But we got a DVR relatively early on to the adoption of them. Uh, and I remember in, like, 2005, he had a DVR of the commercial for the Toa Haga for Norik and Iruni. Uh, and, like, he, he lost his mind when he saw it and he, like, recorded it so I, so he could show me. Because we didn't have a good TV at my mom's house. My parents are divorced. Um, 
we didn't have a good TV at my mom's house, so I it was unlikely I would be able to see a Bionicle commercial. And like, for those who haven't seen it, just Google Toa Haga commercial ghost or Bionicle Toa Haga commercial. Um, the 3D animated stuff produced by Ghost is absolutely phenomenal. Like they look so cool and they really get across the design of the Lego parts. Have you heard, stranger? We're falling back and the Toa have disappeared. My scouts delivered a report from the other villages day. News is not good. Right here, closing in on all sides. The numbers do great to count. After the fall of Trend Krom, I completely lost contact with the North March. But we will not go quietly to the Shadow Makuta as long as the heat and light of the Great Mangai still blazes. I know one maneuver none will expect. I hope Vakama and the others will listen. I must know what happened to the North March. I have no worries to spare. and You have proven resourceful and true. I ask, will you join the guard? Well, let me find out some more stuff. You've seen some small victories, but Makuta's evil infection is spreading throughout Matanui. The other villagers are holding on while they can. Onepu's so hard-pressed he can't spare me even one useful re regiment. Not a single regiment. Oh, yeah, so, um... Most of the, uh... Koros have their own, like, guard. Jala just has the captain of the guard, which is just him and some guys. Um, and then Onukoro has the Yusori, which is just the guys who ride crabs and fight from crab back. Um... And then there's the there's the Gokoro nope there's the Gukko guard in Lekoro who are the guys who fight from Birdback. They initially fought from those other birds that we saw in that last cutscene in, in little mini game, but uh, after the fact they now usually fight on Guckos. Um, I think Po Koro is usually too preoccupied with sport. Um, Gakoro is usually too peaceful and wise. And uh, Kokoro is so cold, they don't need to have a defense force. Uh, most of them are usually scholars or, uh, like, librarians or that sort of thing anyway. Uh, what's the maneuver? It's imperative that the villages built fortifications to prepare for a final defense. Expect many Raji to threaten the villages soon. Vakama says they're gathering at the Kini Nui at the center of the island. We must try to protect it when they fulfill their mission. The dragon must each send heroes to help the Toa at Kini Nui. The Makuta will not expect it. Well, this is, again, by the way, they were going to show, um, originally the idea was that the games would be, you know, all, every everything in 2001 would be hyping up the final fight with Makuta, and you would finally see that fight with Makuta in the game or the movie. But again, those got canceled, and, like, that's one reason why this game is so solid. I can tell a complete story. Um... And they actually stuck with that. Uh, Takua and Jala are the two guys in this scene. And they're actually the main characters of the movie that came out in 2003 called Mask of Light. A hero will be revealed. Um, but the comics and I want to say the books. I know the comics. I think the books are actually, I think the book is just an adaptation of Mask of Light. Anyway. Uh, the comics are still about the Toa fighting the Rakshi. And the Rakshi, uh, I mentioned them earlier, but they basically act like the Nazgul. Um, and there's a lot of comparisons that you can draw between Mask of Light and Lord of the Rings. But suffice it to say, it's about some little people carrying an important golden object while tall people defend them from shadowy monsters that serve a greater master. It deviates in a lot of places. Whatever. Anyway, I will join the guard. What do you need me to do? It warms to me that you've chosen to accept your trust. Vakama will be pleased. The North March is an icy pass where Tawahi meets Kowahi. The Kokoro and the Kokoro Nans have been seen little in the past months and heard from even less. But it may not be that they're troubled. Silence has always been their way. The guard is a small outpost only reachable by cable car. They watch against Rahi from the frozen heights. They also keep watching Kokoro Nans. I fear the servants of Makuda may have taken all my scouts. Take this ensign and show it to the sentry at the cable car. He'll let you through. Make contact with the scouts and get a report for me on the Rakuta's efforts in the mountains. Goodbye. So we now have two um, relics from Takoro. But one of them is essentially a, a relic to be used in Kokoro. So Clever, don't you think? This place is so cool. So we saw this earlier, but we're finally going to take it. 
Only guards may pass. Well, take a look at this, son. Oh, you may pass. Dang right. Right to Kokoro? Heck yeah. Cable car is a little light, I would say. That's a hook on a rope that you're swinging me from, dude. Ah, oh, dude, that stock creak sound, too. Alright, footsteps. Either someone left from here or someone is in here now. A canned light a heat stone, in fact. Why would somebody leave that there? And again, you can see that the can looks similar to the can. Steps. Wow, bet you wish you had this, boy. Oh, chill you out here. So, in case it isn't clear, um, oh right, <laughs> I'm doing it from like ten feet away. There we go. Um, so this is one thing that is a little weird about Bionicle. There is a significant uh, gender disparity. Ga Gamatorin and everyone else from Gakoro are all female. And everyone else is male. Like, you would at least think that it would be 50-50, because that's kind of more like the real world. Or that it would be kind of like Transformers, and they, like... They argue that because everyone's robots, they don't have gender or sex anyway, so... You know, why would you... Why would they have that, you know? So this guy is Kopik, I believe. I've never liked Kopik, but not for his own fault. It's just very difficult for him to be different from anyone. Because his name sounds like Kopaka. And Kopaka is the toe of ice, so it's a pretty big deal. When he has this mask, it's cool. But then when they rebuild him, because, minor spoilers, but there's an event where they rebuild everyone in 2003 to get him back up to full power. Uh, when they rebuild him in 2003, they give him a mask that looks like the noble mask of telekinesis. Which is kind of weird because... Uh, Nuju already wears a gray mask of telekinesis and he's the Turaga of ice. And so Kopi gets a mask of telekinesis and just looks like Nuju. Like it's they have slightly different shades of color but like it's really a weak design. Um and like I can see why they would have his, you know, have him change his blue coloration instead of being white and blue cuz Matoro was white and blue, but it was just, I think it was a bad choice. It, like, he's already a weird derivative character because his name is, like, two letters off from Kopaka. And the two letters are different vowels to begin with. Uh, but I have rambled into uh, a, a recording that is too long, so uh, I'll cut it here. Uh, we're getting close to the end. This is the last Koro. We're in the last Wahi, at the very least. And we're coming up on the last Koro, and then there'll be the final challenge after that. So, I've been Alfred. This has been the Mata Nui Online game. Everyone have a good day. Bye.